So hello there, welcome to Leaks Leak. <laughs> Leaks Leak. <laughs> well hello there, welcome to this week's vlog. Today, well this evening, we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom for Disney's After Hours. So I've got a leaflet here that I was going to talk you through. Um, so After Hours itself cost $129 per ticket. Included is admission into the park for Disney's After Hours. You also get some food and some beverages. So you get popcorn and you also get bottled uh, drinks. Uh, different types of soda and fountain drinks. So we've just sat down and where we are at the moment we've got rivers of light on to the left and there's no one else here but those two guys who just kind of walked in. But yeah, rivers of light is just there so it looks quite amazing from over here. And you've got all the little boats sitting there ready to go as well. Which is quite a nice area to watch it. So at Disney's After Hours, I know there's quite a few vlogs on it already but um, they've just opened up in Pandora now so you can get some snacks and food in Pandora. Whereas before there was no snacks and food available in Pandora. So yeah, we've got some of that in Pongu Pongu. Um, Everest is open, Flight of Passage, Narva River Journey. The Safari isn't open, nor is the River Rapids, which is probably for the best of the rapids, it's far too cold anyway. So let's start the intro. Ride number one. It's Triceratops Spin. I think that's what it's called. You hate these types of rides, don't you, Dan? No, I don't want to do it at all. I'm really excited. I've never been on anything like this. Haven't you? No. You might love it. No. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I love it. Oh my I feel god. I like I need to film you a bit, Dan. It's a lot more entertaining. It doesn't kill. Oh, look, he loves it. And there we go. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, boy. How was that for a spin? Terrifying. Never again. Should we go again? No. <laughs> so what food you got? So I've gone for butter popcorn. Yeah. Which is amazing by the way. Dan, you've gone for? Ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwich. I've got a Diet Coke, Dan's got a water as well. It's still really busy, so we're waiting for it to die out so before we get some food now. So it's now 25 past 9. Plan was to start in Dino Land, work our way like anti clockwise around the park, head over to Everest and blah blah blah. blah. Dino Land never really seemed to calm down, did it? No. Um, so I know it's only like 27 minutes we've been um, in after hours for, but. We've only ridden one wide. Yeah, we didn't want to kind of hang around much longer. We wanted to just kind of get more stuff done and head over to Pandora because that's where we want to spend the most time tonight anyway. Still seems fairly busy. I know behind me it's not, but there's still people dotted around all over the place, isn't there? So it will slowly start to calm down. So I guess in about half an hour it'll be completely empty. But there is still like residual queues for rides as well. So we're now approaching Everest. Dan? Very worried. Very worried. Are you going to do it? You know I'm doing it, yeah. I know. I'm just, you know. I'm just going to close my eyes, hold on for dear life, and yeah. And scream. Just hope for the best. Yeah, sounds good. So, um, let's jump on Everest. The question is then, where do you want to ride? Front, back, middle, or just wherever they middle. stick you? Yeah, middle. We'll try and ask for middle then. Attention, Expedition Everest team members. Once on board, secure all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. For your safety, I don't need yours.
So George has just gone to ride Everest one last time. I've decided to come and see Rivers of Light. Hoping you can see me properly because it's very dark now. Some upbeat music. Just got some more popcorn. This is popcorn number three. This is my third one. Um, on our way to Pandora. Walking through the middle of the show, by the way, Georgie. Oh, are Great we? Timing. Oh, that's me. Um, Dan went on av av Avatar. I can't even speak today. Everest two times. Two times. The first time, how was it? Terrifying. And the second time? Terrifying. Even yeah. worse, actually. He came off and he was like, yeah, I don't feel well now. I feel dizzy, feel sick. It was at the front, so when it went back, it had that extra, like, clout of momentum to clout it. Clout of it? momentum. Yeah. Said by Dan. Um, I went on again. Dan started fil filming the Rivers of Light. And now we're going to run off, try and get into Pandora to go on some things and see some of the bioluminescence as soon as it is nice and dark. It should all be lit up now. Yeah. We're about to enter Pandora. Do you really have to film with me? Can you do that again? No, that's oh. staying in, that was funny. <laughs> I'm just gorging myself on this. Oh, it's all pretty, look at it. Yeah, it's, it's picking out quite nicely. Is it? I'm looking at my socks.
see me? Yeah. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. <laughs> You've all got them. Oh, no. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number, you're not going to feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. We're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Navi. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Navi and avatars can. In fact, the Navi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this rite of passage today. Pandora is a breathtaking natural world. I cannot wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. So, let's get ready for our next... Huh? Hmm. I'll be right back. Put the standby system on, quickly. Okay, to get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> and then get onto the link chair the way we showed you in the video. Then get on your flight visors. For your safety throughout this entire experience, remain seated, lean forward, holding onto the hand grips and supervise your children.
that's me just off of flight of passage. The queue time was 20 minutes, but it was pretty much just a walk on. It's just obviously all the video bits you have to go to first to kind of take a bit of time. Dan didn't actually come on with me, but we did do the queue line. And when we got to the like the end of the queue, I asked the cast member if me and Dan could see the laboratory. So she walked up with us and took us around. We managed to get some photos and we had the lab to ourselves, which is quite impressive. But I think it's now time for Narvi River Journey. You excited, Dan? Oh, it's such a nice ride, this one. Oh, it's walk on.
got there? I have a Foot of Mara ice ah. lolly. And this is the one that's specific to Pandora, isn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. I don't know if it's strawberry at the top. Ah. Oh, no. really nice though. Where are we going now? Um, I have no idea. Where are we going, Dan? I don't know. I'm asking you. Well, decisions. This way. Look how quiet it is. It's nice to be able... It's nice to be able to walk around and just explore it without loads of people there. You can actually do bits that you want to do as well. Not just no, the rides, was, but... No, look, I've just got all in my mouth. Yeah. Okie dokie, so we've left Pandora. Um, we're going back to Asia. We're going to go on Everest. Well, I'm going to go on Everest again. But, for the time, but we just met Mickey Mini. Oh, we have. Just checked in for our yearly visit. Mm, photo in now. It was like the most awkward thing ever. I started it by standing on Minnie's foot. <laughs> and then it just went downhill from there. And then I dropped the camera on the floor. But There was a collective gasp in the room. Yeah, they were. <gasps> It's okay. Yeah, anyway. Mickey, Mickey and Minnie didn't make a noise, so, you know, they're good. But I'm going to go on Everest for the fourth time. Then we're going to head to Dinosaur Land USA. Do some bits there. Yeah. And then head back, I guess. Yeah. Just came off Everest. Um, it was a walk on, but I waited for the front row, tried to get a picture with uh, my phone. That kind of failed, so I shouldn't have really gone front row. But now we're walking towards Dino Land USA again and hopefully to go on and try Sail Top Spin and Dinosaur. So we haven't actually done Dinosaur tonight because of the queue earlier on today because she had that kind of overspill. So hopefully it'll be a walk on on that and also try Sail Top Spin. Maybe get some more popcorn and then we'll be done for the night. Change of plan. Only actually got 14 minutes left until it closes, so we're just going to do dinosaur, then hopefully get more food, Look how quiet and then make our way back to the car. It's very quiet. I wonder if they're still having a little dance off over they there. Are, probably. Are they actually? I kind of feel bad for them if they are. <laughs> on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! What's that? <laughs> Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We better move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! Asteroid impact in 60 seconds. We can't stop now! Keep going, keep going! 
Comstock Navis. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four wheel drive, move it! Warning, meteor strike. Evasive maneuver, left, right, left, right! That was close. Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it. Abort mission. Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! You made it! We made it! We made it! You made it back with you. I better find it before security does. Thank you. Just off dinosaur. We was on the whole car to ourselves, photos in now. And Dan's on to pin number two. Well, technically number 16. But who's counting? And it is one minute past midnight now, so the event has finished. Oh, I also meant um, coin, not pin. I'm very tired. Yeah, here we go. Roger, we're on it. Over. 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 Hey. Tired. Very. <laughs> Just got back to the hotel. It's now like half past one. Yeah, probably. It wasn't too bad getting out of Animal Kingdom. You're looking around. Do you need confirmation of the time? No, it's okay. Okay. I just got back to the hotel. It wasn't too bad getting out of Animal Kingdom. Car park was kind of dead, wasn't it? It was really quiet. Um, we did miss the tram, so we had to wait for the next tram. And it's only about a four minute drive from Animal Kingdom to All Stars. It's probably one of the good things about staying at the All Stars, is it's mm. such a close drive to Animal Kingdom. Um, tonight was a weird one, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know. After hours, it's $129, and you get three hours. The first hour, you've still got people who were in the queues before they closed in the queues, so the queue times are still quite long. So really, you only get about two hours of just be like 3,000 people that have the After Hours event. So what do you think about the After Hours event? Um, I'd say a waste of money. I don't think it's worth $129. Um, there's a limited amount of rides available. And yeah, that first hour, as, as you say, you've still got people in there. So we had planned to go to, to Dinosaur first and then make our way around. And that, Went, that went up to about 20 minute wait straight away and flight of passage was two hours so they have to clear through all of that because you can still enter the queue system before up to close so yeah um, that isn't taken into account so I think that knocks a lot of value off how much you're paying though when it kind of got to the second hour it really started to kind of ease out didn't yeah. it so it's a bit of a weird one. I think in Magic Kingdom, we're not we're not sure what happens in Magic Kingdom, <coughs> but pretty sure that they make an announcement throughout the parks and the park could be closing um, at 10 p.m. for example, so people know when they start to leave. But there's none of that at Animal Kingdom. It just yeah. kind of phased without anyone really realising what time it was yeah. or, or what's going on. For me, I managed to get on Everest four times, which is quite good. But I usually go on single rider lines anyway. Yeah. But I managed to do it Everest four times. We went. Triceratops spin once, dinosaur once. Yeah. Um, watched Rivers of Light from like the side. Yeah. And Navi of a Journey was a walk on and Flight of Passage. It was a walk on, but obviously you had the the pre show. Fifteen twenty minutes of pre show before you get onto it. Yeah. So for that reason, yeah, it's great. If you want to just do Pandora, it's great. We managed to get some amazing footage in there. Yeah. yeah. And it was nice to look around there. Um, and kind of see all the bioluminescence and the floating rocks all lit up at night. Yeah. The food is okay as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's I not really popcorn. free, but um, yeah, you kind of pay for it. Yeah, 
but I enjoyed the quietness of Pandora. I think that's the, the peak for me. And also I got to ride Everest at the back at the front and in the middle twice. So it's quite good. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. We do hope you have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below. And on that note, we'll see you later.